Gardens. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is when we take a short break from our hectic work schedule just to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist in Toronto, Canada. And with me today, we have Apanaki Tamiato. Thank you so <laughs> much, Apanaki, for joining us this afternoon. Yes. Hi, and thank you for having me. And yeah, it's, it's good to speak to a fellow Trini artist based here in Toronto. Yes, so Apanaki, please tell me how you got started in your art practice, what kind of art you do, and what influences your work. Well, I first got started in my art practice actually due to um, a trauma workshop that I went to where I was introduced to textile art. And uh, in meeting one of the women who were part of this trauma workshop, who was actually a member of Workman Arts, um, they introduced me to this art-based organization that was for people with mental health and addiction oh. challenges and actually asked me to become a member. And in so becoming a member, I got access to free art-based programming and uh, was a writer then because I'd been writing for over 20 years or so oh. and decided that I couldn't connect with writing anymore. I wanted to try a different medium. So I kind of gravitated to visual arts and then I had an opportunity to actually create two pieces for an exhibition called Being Seen, which is a juried exhibition. Oh, And I did my first acrylic um, painting, which is called um, Afro Chick. And my first mixed media painting, at the time, I didn't even know what mixed media was, but I yes. wanted to incorporate African fabric on canvas. Yes. And I did a piece called the Igungun, which is the ancestors in Yoruba. Yes. And it was of the sun and the moon, of which I did in fabric and crystals and sequins and stones and shells. Yes. And it actually got into the exhibition. And the exhibition ran for seven months. So I was able to showcase my work at Heart House at UFT, um, also at the Rendezvous and Madness Film Festival. And um, it was a very interesting journey to see how people were affected by my art and responded to my art. And in okay. so doing, it started me as a textile artist. And I then Googled how many pieces in a, in a collection. Yes. I found 10 to 15 pieces and I created 10 pieces, which was the Igungun collection. Okay. And I did ancestral mass from all over the continent okay. um, of Africa um, in that collection. Excellent, excellent. I think I met you when I first moved to Toronto. You were just starting up for 2011. I, I first moved here and I, I met you at an art show and you were telling me about getting started in your, your practice. So I'm just so amazed at um, the work you've done. Congratulations, well done over the years. <laughs> now, please show us a few pieces. Let's see what okay. you have here today. So currently this piece here um, is actually called Num, and it was my response um, through the Being Seen um, exhibition this year of um, a special curation that was called To Speak Without Speaking, which was really trying to kind of have a visual representation of how a lot of people felt for 2020 in light of COVID, in light of yes. quarantine, in light of um, the Black Lives Matter movement yes. being rekindled globally. And this was my response to it. Now, numb is literally um, my feeling of how I felt as a, as a woman of color, as a Black woman, dealing with on top of all the fears and all the, the the scares of already dealing with COVID and having family members who are affected by COVID because um, my sisters and brothers live in New York. So they were at, um, you could say ground zero of COVID. Exactly, it was right. Really, really bad. And then dealing with all this discrimination that was happening against um, people of color during the height of that as well. Yes, so yes. So I had gotten so numb i couldn't even watch television anymore i couldn't watch the news anymore understandably yes really yeah go on social media and i had all these um well wishing um 
white friends of mine and fans of mine who were trying to reach out to maybe sometimes explain that they're not racist or, you know, give some well wishing. And I just couldn't take it in. I just yes, you were numb to the gone. whole situation. Yes, yes. So, so this, this is in is response. My, yeah, yeah. So this is in response. And it was also the first time in my art practice that I used embroidery. So um, I actually embroidered the woman's face um, on tool, actually, never used it before, but it was an interesting learning experience while I was using it. And um, literally, this is, to me, just everything that was happening that was kind of like trying to swallow me up. Right. And me right. trying to kind of pry myself out of it. Oh, to it. Myself yes, together. yes. So um, this piece actually um, will be showcased in Geneva <gasps> wow. at the World Health Organization Innovative Summit on June um, 15th, I believe, um, for the opening of that summit. So I um, look forward to seeing more about this. And I believe it will also be, um, I will also be working with a musician who will also be showcased at the summit. And we may do like a soundscape to go with the piece. Oh. So look forward to seeing more where that is. Yes, what an amazing opportunity. Congratulations, fabulous. Okay. Let's show Thank us one or two much. more pieces before we sure. end today. So um, this here is my piece um, from my Femme Le Fleur collection. And it is actually called Without Question from that very, um, very interesting line that Denai Guerrero, when she's playing Okoye in Black Panther said um, to her lover at the time when he had gone against the, um, when he was trying to uh, dethrone the the prince of Wakanda. Okay. Um, so yes, and show us one more. We can. We have. We're running out of time. One more piece. No problem. No problem. <laughs> and this, is, and this is also um, the second part of the diptych, as well. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. So these two pieces are currently on display at Harborfront as part of the Kumba Festival. Yes. It is actually on the Harborfront building currently. And um, it will be there until April 11th. So if oh. you do live in Toronto, please go down and check it out. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Wonderful. Well, great success um, all around. And we are, I'm so pleased at your progress and you know, all the successes over the years. Brilliant work and so powerful. Now tell viewers where they can find, um, you know, your website, your social media handle, where they can find and view more of your work. Well, please, um, on all social media, go to at Shop Apanaki and you'll be able to find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram that way. And uh, for my website, if you want to either buy prints or even um, any kind of merchandise, Apanaki um, merchandise, go to Apanaki dot, <laughs> sorry, Apan Apanaki dot Timotayo dot M dot pixels dot com. Okay, so, even so if people, I'll write it there in the yeah. video. And so everyone can get the links and go and visit her shop. So thank you so much, Afanaki, for joining us today. Brilliant artist. And I hope everyone goes and support, visit her website, buy some merchandise. Her, her uh, work is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for joining us for Art Snack today. Hope to see you tomorrow. You can find my work too at jennylynjames.pixels.com jennylynjames.pixels.com Please remember to hit the subscribe button and share with friends. You can also check out my Instagram and Facebook Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Thanks again and bye-bye Akfinaki. Thank you for joining bye -bye. us today. Bye-bye and thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye.